So, Jono, uh, a one 0 defeat here at the Flamingo and Stadium this evening. Um, you know, it must have left a, a bit of taste in your mouth after the penalty miss at the end. Just give us your initial thoughts after that game. Yeah, disappointed. Listen, people miss penalties, and what I was brave enough to step up. Uh, got no problems with that at all. But yeah, great chance to obviously draw the game. If we draw the game, you know, in the last minute, last kick of the game, it, it's like a win, and you know the boys would be bouncing in there, but. Because it didn't go in, you know, the boys are a little bit deflated, so uh, we need to get them up on Thursday, ready for the game Saturday. But yeah, I don't think, um, I don't think the referee and linesman, uh, you know, uh, could themselves in glory tonight. I don't think it was a pen against us, and um, you know, we huffed and puffed. We had lots of possession. They obviously came to try and sneak a goal, and then sat everyone behind the ball, and we didn't have the quality to break them down. Uh, we had a good chance first half. I think it was Jake Days had a great chance, and. Um, you know, he's just scuffed the shot, um, so it could have been one 0 at half time, but it wasn't. And then second half, probably similar to the first, we had all the, all the ball, but in the final third, we didn't have that quality or that that guy or that cleverness to to break them down. Um, but credit to them, you know, um, they did a job on us. Probably similar to the weekend where you know we lost a player, you know we defended deep and tried to counter attack and you know got a good victory. Whereas they came with eleven players and did the same same job on us. So uh, the lads are very disappointed in there. Uh, me and the staff are disappointed because it was a good chance to get three points, like we say. But you know we go and win a game on Saturday. And it's nine points out of twelve. So um, just said to the boys, keep positive. You know there was no lack of effort effort out there. The boys put a good shift in, but um, we just didn't have that quality to break them down in the final third. How frustrating was it for you? Because obviously they've they've travelled over tonight. You started really fast, and then to be pegged back with a an iffy decision in the first half that must have really stemmed the flow and the the momentum that your side were building. Yeah, exactly that. I think um, you know, I don't think it was a penalty, and then their keeper was taking forever for every single goal kick and and thingy. And you speak to the lines when you speak to the referees, and they, they don't listen to you. So um, it's just a waste of time. But I think um, I think the disappointing thing. Today is we were beaten by a very good team. They didn't try and play. Like I said earlier, they did a job on us. Um, I think Wits only didn't have one shot to save, mm. to save, and I think he's only come for a couple of crosses. So I think that tells its own story. But the lads are really disappointed. I feel a bit sorry for him because um, you know um, we've had a few half chances, Jake. Like I mentioned earlier, I think Will had a header. And then I think um, we've had another chance, I can't remember which one it was, and then obviously the penalty in the last minute, mm. good chance to, to get a point and um, keep our, um, you know, not losing streak going, but it wasn't to be and uh, he just dragged it wide. Um, so, listen, it is what it is, we've got, to, uh, we've got to kick on and we've got to be positive and going to training on Thursday with a positive mindset that we're going to go and uh, beat Grantham at the weekend and if we do that, it's nine points out of 12. You have been in plenty of games like tonight, John. It just felt like from our position that we could have been talking this time next week and we probably still wouldn't have scored. So, you know, it wasn't for the want of trying from your players, was it? It just didn't fall at the right time for them tonight. Yeah, yeah. That, I think, you know, I've, I've been in this position as a player. It's probably more frustrating as a manager because, <laughs> you know, as a player you can sort of like try and do something about it. But I think, um, you know, we huffed and puffed. We tried our best. Listen, we must have had 75, 80% of possession. We needed to move the ball quicker, we needed the intensity, we needed more forward runs, we needed more players to take players on in the final third, more um, through balls, more crosses, and the final third we just, you know, we just didn't have it tonight, we didn't have that final quality, and, um, you know, yeah, we did have two or three chances, yes, we had a penalty, but we didn't make the keeper make too many saves, which is disappointing, really. And I guess the beauty of it is, Jono, that on Saturday you welcome Grantham. Um, now, I know it's not going to be an easy three points. They're, they're rooted to the bottom of the table. Um, but your lads will be looking to bounce straight back and, and put a good performance in again. Yeah, we just said, we just said that to the players. We said, listen, we need a, a good reaction Saturday. Um, positivity throughout on Thursday, going into the game, thinking we're going to win the game. And like I said, can we be better in the final third? Can we get more um, crosses, more take-ons, more through balls? And can we make the keeper work? And listen, if we play like that, um, I think we'll get goals. But we just have to be careful, you know, um, that we don't make any mistakes in the bat. But I think we'll have a lot of ball again against Grantham at the weekend. So uh, fingers crossed, you know, um, it doesn't knock our confidence and we can uh, get three points and on Saturday. And like I said, it'd be nine out of 12 if we can do that.